I use three cups of flour. But that's for that's uh, for um, 24 or 25. Now for 12, I'm just gonna give you a recipe too for it. Okay. Uh, oh, Jay Z, you're a genius. Yeah. Oh, Jay Z, you're a genius. I use and make between 24 to 30 biscuits every week. I don't know what kind of flour you use. I use white lily. I, but white lily is what I use. I usually use Martha White or something. But Ms. Johnson got me on the white lily right after we married. So that's been a long time ago. Did your mom make biscuits? My, my daddy even made biscuits. They made good biscuits. Daddy can make a biscuit just like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> we had biscuit three times a day. And oh, I yeah. cook biscuit three times a day. Huh. They like them fresh. They got to cook biscuit for breakfast every morning. That's what daddy and mama ate. Was coffee and biscuit. Yeah. For breakfast. This is the recipe right here. Okay. I'm cut that out and save it. I can say, when I'm doing this, I usually count them out, tablespoon, to how many biscuits you want. But it's always this same full. And this right here is three cups. It's five cups. Okay. Right there, it's five cups. Cause that's what I usually use right there. Some people sift them, some don't. It makes them light and rise. Pop. Hey. Hey, girl. <laughs> I'm I'm being Miss Paula Dean. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the woman, uh, the pioneer woman. Yeah. She does some good cooking. She does. I I do this about 30 times. This is a little bit not as much as a biscuit because it takes a little bit more than that for a biscuit. But uh, I, I this is what I measure it once. Make them a little well right here. Ellie, can you hand, come hand it says a fourth of a cup. Uh huh. Crisco or, or, or shortening, but um, that's for twelve biscuits. Okay. So you got to multiply that by uh, how many biscuits you're making, and this will be about uh, 30 biscuits. So it's gonna be close to three fourths of a cup. And I eyeball it. If it's a little too much, the biscuits will crumb a little bit more. Yeah. If it's not enough, they will, uh, it'll be kind of hard. And so um, I like to have more than a, than a, a less. Okay, yeah. We don't want hard grandma biscuits. Uh, we don't want any hard grandma biscuits. No, uh, anyway. What's Papa doing? Grits. Grits. Uh, 
I'd say that was close to three fourths, wouldn't you? Yeah. Just for good measure. <laughs> good measure. You see what I'm doing? Uh huh. All right. Incorporate this. Don't mind getting your hands messed up. Yeah. Get this in here to like a pea shape. To make it cooperate, just like if you're baking a cake. Yeah. If you're baking a cake, you got to get the uh, shortening and the flour incorporated. So you got to get this incorporated. And my mother and daddy didn't do this. Ms. Johnson didn't did do this. Did they use a spoon? Huh? What did they do? They, they did this. They didn't oh. measure anything. Oh, okay. They just, put, they just, they didn't do this. But I, I picked this up through the years. I didn't do it used to either. But through the years, cooking and cooking shows, no. This is, uh. Um, you see how you can move it? To make sure that it. And they always make fluffy biscuit. Me yeah. and Johnson can make a delicious biscuit. Yeah? She really could. Louise and Doris could. Huh. And they use that big old pan over there. Yeah? Uh, to make all their biscuits with. You see that consistency there? Right there in your hand. No, I thought it was a looking tall. No, that's it. That's it. No. What do you do with It's over there somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. All right. All right, I'm coming. Maybe a cup, a three-fourths cup. I eyeball it. You don't want too much, you don't want too less. You see what I'm doing here? Don't work your dough too much. Just like you mix it. This is my mix. You make it to a consistency to all is incorporated. That would be a good one right there. Uh -huh. I want it just a little bit more milk. Okay. Do you always use this? Um, I always use this. This one? I always use this and I always use this. And you got one of these. I do. All right, you see that? Uh-huh. That's incorporated right there. You got to get a hand at it. I will learn. It's all right. Not today. <laughs> <laughs> Someday we, yes, you and Jay there and she's asleep in the morning. Yeah. Try it out and put them in the refrigerator or in the freezer till you get ready for them. You see that right there? Are you going to roll them out or are you going to... I don't know. I might try them like you're doing them. All right. Matt makes biscuits at I least once a did. week. I thought he did. He rolls his out. Well, but a he lot uses don't. Pam, I think, and uh, Sheila takes a spoon and dip them out, don't they? <laughs> Mary B's makes nice. Yeah. I'll tell you when the last time was I made it. Oh. Sheila has made some of the most of hers come out of it. I don't like a, a real thick biscuit. Ronnie, I think, likes a, a thick biscuit. Because he said, Mama, you put them close together, they'll make them rise more. I really like them just uh, in a bigger pan and uh, just let them be separated. But I don't. I, sep I put them together. That does make them rise more because he likes it. Well, the sacrifices you make for your children. You'll do anything for me. <laughs> I do. You know it. Oh, you know it. You know it. Just work your pain in. 
Don't get too much flour. Get enough to make them soft. And that's it. That is going to rise a little bit uh -huh. while I clean my hands. I get to a side like this, uh -huh. and I get about this much dough okay. from a size like this. Yeah, this takes time for you to learn to do this, but if you do it, you know, practice makes perfect. Yeah. And the more you do it, and you're going to have four to cook, six to cook for every meal, you'll learn. Yeah. And you may pick up uh, other hides that's yeah. even better. But this is faster than rolling them out and cutting them. <laughs> now are all of them, all 30 of them going to fit in that pan? All of them will. Sometimes it's uh, not, uh, don't have enough. And I always say it's in, in the way the moon is. When it's growing, mm -hmm. you'll have more, and when it's less, you'll have less business. Huh. Oh, it's not like it dropped. Ronnie made biscuit one time when he was about 12, 11, 12, 11, 12. James, I had had a history. And James and uh, Ronnie and Ken. Kenny could never get used to cook. He cleaned and take the trash out. Ronnie would help uh, James cook. And and he undertook to make enough of this. But I don't know whether he's ever made one of his sense or not. But he did a pretty good job with it. They all did. Hey guys, guys. Papa, do you ever make biscuits? Uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, he's pretty They were a little, they were a little tough. <laughs> huh? All the way I put too much lard, I didn't get them there. I put too much lard. You made hockey pucks? No, you got it. I was busted up in the top. I probably too much lard, huh? You better eat. Beautiful sweet. Thank you. I made man out of them bags. Yeah. We're about six, seven biscuits. All we gotta do is roll them out and pound them down and put them in the oven. All right, gotta yeah. put them in the oven. Um, you don't make them kind? No, not that kind. We buy them where you just stick them in the oven. Mary B. Mm -hmm. Mary B makes a good one. I tell you, we would buy them Mary B. And I told thin. James, I said, I can buy them, I can make them cheaper than. Yeah. I can make them cheaper than buying that. Three dollars on the bag, you get to have two of them. Yeah. That's how we like them thin ones. Yeah. Bring me the trailer. She wanted to make them before she fell up the cheese. I don't blame her. I do something that you don't see many. Now on the cooking shows, they melt butter when they get done. That's going to be a little bit bigger. See there? There they are. There they are. How long do you cook them? Papa I don't like them brown. I don't know about y'all. He likes them golden. Thank you. Now, when on the cookie show, they will have melted butter to do this with. 
I, I wait to add them and I take a stick of butter because it's easier. You don't have many pots and pans clean up. And I spread on both sides, back and front, and that makes a biscuit soft. And flavor. What temperature are you cooking at? Between 450 and 470. Or 75. But yeah, the recipe does say 500. Okay. How I, long do you cook them? All right, but uh, 15, 20 minutes. But I'm, you can do it. That's where my time is So what are you want to do? Three sugars. I said, well, Everybody else doing this. This, this is the finished product. She bought some of the you see my daddy one down all I'm right there in the front store in the last Most cook shows or people doing anything like this. This is so much easier than melting the butter and taking a brush. You got all that to clean up. I'm not sure how hurt that is. So I said, oh, okay. Well, I'll talk to you when you come out. Prime, something about prime. Paula Dean ain't got nothing on that one. Look up and see that he has come out of the bathroom a few minutes later. I'm still looking for the rack. This makes see, me sound. See how long this video is going to be? And as long as it takes. Back of his head. Oh, well, that grandma, this, you know, it's the best grandma I've ever had. I know, that's the one I want. Well, I quickly determined that. You showed it. Um, you showed it. Um, I got to go to IGA. 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 I got to when I was cooking for all my family at home, I never did do all this. Because like I say, I made this myself. Yeah. I mean, the store doesn't have to be soft. You know, this thing was built on a pretty fast. Then he called Kelly yesterday. NBA players not allowed. To find out. Yeah, I mean, this thing was built. Hey, this is Bob. The wall right here. The wall is already. Well, hey, Gigi. The walls are already. Well, hey, Gigi. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I'm getting it. I got some better pans. It's bigger. But this recipe don't call. I mean, uh, it, it would hold more than I'm cooking here. Yeah. And so uh, I just use this pan. But some pans, our ovens, will brown them more at the bottom. And uh, James says sometimes these are brown more. But this is the, the consistency that James likes. I was on top last Sunday. And right after church, somebody was going to give me some more money. He told the system to succeed on paper or something. And I turned around and thought, ma'am, I'll look back around. And some like butter. I don't know whether somebody want butter today or not. Wow. I might want a butter one. You want a butter? Okay. You want a butter and a cheese. Grandma, those biscuits are legendary because everybody at the golf course was, was asking if we were eating Grandma's biscuits today. <laughs> I, I cooked some. You and David played yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, did yeah, they've eaten them where he said everybody else. Oh, uh, I right. have cooked some for him to take. Yeah, that's so good. <laughs> that is funny. But you don't now see no, you don't see no cook show yeah, do put butter on really top and bottom. But now I did see, um, what's the name, the Pioneer Woman? Yeah. I saw her make these rolls. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she took uh, a pinch of uh, the these rolls and she dipped them in butter. Uh, before yeah. she cooked them. And I thought Grandma about doing that with this. On so, so sometime when, um, I'm creative. Yeah, you can dip them. I'm gonna dip them in butter and see what it does. Yeah. But when you uh, eat a biscuit, cook now.
they, they don't do that. Oh, really? Yeah, your dad is very, uh, don't nobody know how allergic to grease he is. He mops everything, gets all the grease up. <laughs> Hey, Ellie, Ellie, get down. Do not get on the glass. No. I really think you need to put some butter in this one and let me eat it right now. I look around and see dirt. Yeah, there's no butter in right now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't care David when, well, cook, or uh, well, or oh, who. Yeah. I'm cook. When it just comes out of that oven is when it's the best. Unstick your tongue out. Rake it out. Let me give you something to drink. Just to get the rest of it done. I mean. That's I what I need that. right there. So Kelly and I have done You want one now. Okay, I'll wait until everyone else. I don't guess I'm going to tell you this. She's telling her mom. I have self-control. And you know, know. you know who started me doing this? You know who? David, Dina, Daniel, and Benjamin. The mother would not let them eat me when they got to the table to put cheese or butter in them. And I said, well, when I just get through baking them, I'll do it. You can't stop me now. That's right. So, if yours was around here, you couldn't stop me then. <laughs> and you know what? It took on everybody then. I said, exactly. Or he can be like red. We just went from the number they, one. They, we're not going to make Grandma do that now. And he so named every Grandma just his number one. He went on in. He's number two. He don't. He's number three. And he told me what it was a number three. So he knows you're an apple. A grape. So Brett knows every new car driver. You ought to hear him. Either. I'm going to tell you right now. I told him, we, uh, James would love to him, have him watching t uh, the TV with him. And he, you told me if I got it wrong. No, Pammy, that's not right. That's not right. He drives so well. I'm not going to get into a, a discussion with him on that. I know to keep my mouth shut. I don't know any of them. I knew Dale Arnhart was number three. But hey, and Bill Elliott was number nine. Other than that, I'm 88 and 24. I said, who is number nine? I said, I don't think there is a number nine. Number nine is Chase Elliott's dad. He's a new dad. You can tell Benjamin is really, uh, but he likes it. And so.